Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about it. it. What's up, y'all? Welcome to episode two of Boo Child. Let's talk about it. Um, as you know, I'm KP, and this is Ronnie. Um, this episode, we have a special guest. Yes, we do have a special guest today, guys. And the special guest is Lenise. Hey, y'all. Um, young Goldilocks, whatever y'all want to call her. Um, but this is our friend. She's here today to clear the air. Um, <laughs> I guess we're going to go ahead and start. We can start by telling how we know how her. we know each other. Yeah. You know. Okay. I'm answering. Yes. Or you go ahead. Dang, that's ghetto. Like. <laughs> yeah, I answer the question. <laughs> okay. Um. Ronica. Dang, I don't want to be like. Okay, Ronica, go ahead. Say how you know. Yeah. Her. <laughs> we not about to play with her. Like, that's my, okay. Well, that's my baby daddy cousin. <laughs> this is my baby mama. Um, we met. Our kids are 11, so we met about 12, 13 years ago. Yeah. Um, she was dealing with my cousin, and I didn't like her when I initially met her. Obviously, she didn't like nobody when she met them. <laughs> because. Right, baby, like, what? <laughs> what? Bitch, what? No, like, because mm-hmm. Lanise was rude. She came in the house, and she didn't speak, and I didn't like that. You know, it's like, you got no home trainer. Um, but we I ended up in that talk over her, y'all, because. <laughs> Eventually, I learned to love her. She's a really sweet girl. She is mean, though. Oh, um, yeah. I don't think so. Right? Yeah. Oh, nice. I didn't get that from you ever. Right? Me and you, we hit it But when good. you met her, it was because of me. So we was already acquainted. Yeah, I didn't get acquainted. Mean, And we didn't really like me. It was like, we was going to the club. Bitches got dressed, was at the club. And then it was just like, yeah. outside. Yeah, then we just but was outside. But she was coming to my aunt house, walking in the house with her nose stuck up. See, you and wouldn't have, speak. See, me, I just didn't come to the house. Yeah, she no, didn't come around. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was her boyfriend, too. I spoke. He came to my house. No, you didn't. It was Nobody you, didn't. Nene, and Ashley. You didn't speak. And I might have spoke low. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't speak, sweetie. I spoke. Because me and Brittany was like. I spoke back. Mm, nah, she ain't speak. But now, but it doesn't matter. Right. That's the past. We love each school, other now. And yeah, that's how we met. Um, so we wanted to first talk about your business. Um, we wanted you to tell us about your business, the name, um, and what made you get into that, and how long you've been doing it. Um, my business is called Enchanted Experience Events. I do event planning, baby showers, weddings, you name it, need decorations, got you. Um, I started from my my baby shower, actually. Bree's baby Which shower. Baby? Oh, okay. I got two kids. <laughs> Which baby shower? I have two kids, y'all, 11 and 8. But no, I started with Bree's baby shower and then her first birthday party and me just doing her parties and stuff over the years. Somebody, who was the first, my first client was actually VA Mo. I did like a candy table at one of her parties. And from there, it kind of just kept going, word of mouth, and here I am now. Okay. Um, so I've heard that people say that you're like expensive. Um, how do you feel about that? Um, I personally don't like it because what I should charge, I don't charge. And that's all with having to accommodate the area that you're in. Yeah. Like, I'm not in New York, I'm not in Atlanta, where people are paying top dollar for stuff. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you can't come to me with, you want a party like Jada or a baby shower like Gucci and Keisha, and you got $300. And let me just add this, because I helped her do an event for a lot of work. And let's be clear. It's a lot of work, and I understand now the pricing of, like, having an event planner and stuff. So, you know, she's not wrong for not selling herself short is how I feel about it now. At first, well, I don't get charged, which I <laughs> which I would get charged. But I, you know, didn't understand the numbers because I never experienced it for real. So... With me doing that for her, it was like, this is like hours just to set up for the event. You know what I'm saying? And she's like a perfectionist. Yeah. Okay. 
So being that you are a business owner, with that being said, um, I want to know how do you deal with unsupported friends? Because like coming into this podcast thing, there are people that I can honestly say like bitches that I speak to on the phone every day that ain't share the page, ain't share, you know, mm -hmm. and you know what type of person I am. So I'm trying to like take the high road. Dope. And so yeah. advise me, help me. I switch, just feel I'm like the blackout. You know your friends, right? All of my friends, for the most part, are supportive of my events. Like, and support can doesn't mean booking me for a party. Absolutely. Liking a post, really sharing a post, like even engaging on a live or whatever the case may be. Um, if a friend is not supporting, they're not a friend. Okay. In my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Like. So don't address but it's, it. But I feel like so it's how a have touchy you, subject, though. But how have you dealt with it? I've never personally had a friend not support. Okay, so a situation I had, I did a baby shower for a friend. And during the process of me setting up this baby shower, like my grandfather is dying. So I might have been, I'm not gonna say I might have been, I was on edge. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm trying to hurry up and get this done because I have somewhere to be when we're trying to break down. And a friend, um, family member had posted on my page as a review that I was rude and da 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 da. And I never said anything verbally, but I'm sure my body language and posture gave that off. So it's kind of like... Your face. Huh? Mm -hmm. Your face. You don't have a poker you know, face. I Why don't. You <laughs> sure. I don't. So it's like my friend, she wasn't not being supportive, but if you're my friend and you had a family member that felt the type of way... Said, yeah, hey, she should have. Her your, grandfather... Your family, is, mother, yeah. your family member should have never even felt comfortable to do that. Which, and we've addressed it, and we've talked about it. Because it could have been a case where the family member posted it unbeknownst to her. And I, but after you yeah, find out, it's how you handled yeah, it. Yeah, correct. And she apologized. Like, you know, we talked. But I feel like it It depends on your friend. Like, I know my friend and had no ill intent. But if you have a friend that's not supporting um, at all. Just they not my friend no more. Don't say nothing. Not Don't address friend, it. They're not friend, but depending on the length of that friendship, like, I don't I'm feel like the age where do I don't mean? feel like length should mean a thing, it, though. Like, if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. And yeah. if you don't, you don't. If I've known you 10 years or 10 minutes, if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not 10 minutes, but you get what I I'm get trying what to say. Saying. 10 yeah. months. Like, if you're my friend, mm -hmm. you're my fucking friend. Stop playing with me. Yeah. I just feel like I really want to say something, but <clears> I, at this point of what I'm trying to do and where I'm going, I can't address I, well, that's what I was everything. telling y'all before. Y'all can't like can't keep you can't address everything. For me, I feel like if I addressed it with you one time and you didn't change it, just like a nigga. Hello. If something happened in between me and you, but you give these niggas more chances. We who? definitely give niggas. Just in general, like, I have. Let I me have. not say that. I'm about to say I can't say that. But I have. I might have given a nigga more like chances. Okay. But I'm not repeating myself to him. Yeah. So, and you know, a nigga, he'll try to come back and act like he's trying to make it right. Yeah. This you ain't even that. trying to make it right. Like, you, you literally, acting like you, right. you acting like nothing's going on. So you've addressed it? I've addressed it. I'm talking it. about this is this, this shit so crazy. Okay, so you know, Kadir had his little trap meeting shit. Mm -hmm. So in between, I'm posting stuff from track, mm -hmm. but I'm posting stuff out the page. I'm talking about you loving and reacting to everything could be, and you're slip, you're skipping over. She's supposed to be a part of the podcast. Like, no, the people that are supposed to be a part is a part of. It. Yeah, that's weird. I feel like at this age, though, like I don't have any and I fight every day with myself not, not to say nothing. Song. Yeah, I don't have friendships at this point. Not like it's expendable. Like your little podcast. I'm sorry. It's just. Who she but, said that? No, no somebody else saying. said another friend. I'm saying something like that. If you're my friend, be my friend. And if you're an op, bitch, just be an op. Stop fucking playing with me. That's it. Because like Monica said last episode, like, if I fuck with you, you know, I'm yeah. going to hell and back. So, you are. Yeah. Like, that's, just, even, that's you as a person. I can definitely have that when it comes to me. Why I just you? have yeah. learned, like, in the last year, for real, with myself personally, I have to stop giving people so much of me and they don't do the same. Like, it's not reciprocated. Yeah. And... I'm learning that and I'm really taking heed and like going in the direction of not doing it. And people act like they're so hurt about it. Mm. But let's talk about you it. have to really look at yourself and figure out what the fuck am I doing wrong. I know sometimes I can be standoffish. I might not talk to you. If I'm in my feelings, yeah. I'm shutting down, period. But people start to make things 
all about them, yeah. and they don't never think out the box like, well, maybe I need to check on her or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't, and especially if I'm with my friends, all of them I'm supportive. Yeah. Every last one of them. Whatever you, I don't give a fuck if you shell, selling shoestrings, bitch. I'm going to post them. Let me get them yeah. bitches in purple. Thank you. Purple. My favorite color. Let me Thank get them bitches you. In purple. Like, yeah. and for you not to support me, it's like a slap in the face. Yeah. So every day I'm fighting with myself not to say nothing. Literally. If you're saying something, what is that going to change? Or like, I, I just be feeling like I just need to get this shit off my chest. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, that's all. Because like, you walk around like everything ain't sweet. So I got a question. If they don't post, they not your friend. No, that's not what we're saying. It's not about it's they, not they the actual. Support. It's not support. the actual action of not posting. It's just weird shit that you can clearly see that is intentionally being done. Yeah. Like if I post something and you like every single thing I post, but you blatantly ignore the shit and that I post. And even if about you feel doing, some type of way, then address it as my friend and you knowing me. You should be able to address it. I'm yeah. one of the easiest people to talk to. My friends come to me about everything. No idea. Bruce. Bruce Like, for real, I'm so that not, person. It's not about, like, because, you should be able to talk to me. You can't right. think that's not personal, though. Right now, what y'all doing is checking everybody that's posting. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Period. <laughs> nah, for real though. Okay, so I didn't whatever. post a lot either though, because I was but you like, been supported and I didn't process. have to tell you. You've been interacted throughout. You the have been you have helped us with shit. Yeah, behind even scene. behind so the scenes. Not, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be okay. what people can so see. It the post, and it's not about you sharing or none of that shit. It's but just it's just like me feeling like you're supporting me. Yeah. Like you supported us behind the scenes more than. For the public eye, but yeah. that's that's fine with me. I don't care about what people can see. It's about how you making me feel. Yeah, that's what y'all shooting in the gym. Per swish. Okay, <laughs> we gonna we gonna move on because we can talk about this all uh, night. night. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then start naming names um, and shit. Please Instagram, don't. Instagram, Facebook. Oh, y'all go look at this. Where do you see yourself in five years? Dang, I was thinking about that earlier. Like I don't know. Honestly, like, I'm at a point where I just want to be happy. Like, I don't want anything tangible. I just want to be, like, happy. I feel like I was unhappy for so long. Like, five years, let me just be happy. Okay. I'm I happy see my it kids coming happy. Because I see it on you, a Latin girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You next. I feel like you should ask next. I'm not ready to ask. Dan, you got a good question. Okay, um, I'm question nervous, y'all. Huh, this is a question that people probably are dying to know. What's your relationship status? Sips, drink. <laughs> Wait. Everybody sip a drink. Don, we, we really want to know. I mean, the Lord said you're single and so married. Okay. But, um... You know. But what you say? You got a little yeah, yeah. Got a little what, what? Got a person. Okay. You know? Hey, person. Okay. <laughs> you are so corny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, have you had any cosmetic procedures? And if so, how many? And what did you have? Look, I had two. I had a tummy tuck in 2017. Y'all dragged me through the dirt. <laughs> Bought that shit, by the way. And I had a BBL in 2019. Do you plan on getting anything else? Do you regret it? Um, um, like, definitely don't regret it. Okay. Um, get something else, definitely. And what would that Dang. be? I really want lip fillers, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. You hate it. I oh, want like, lip fillers. I know this girl that had got lip fillers like right close to her wedding. Because mm. like, you know my old, when I worked in healthcare, mm -hmm. they did lip fillers and we had a facial plastic surgery. So she got her little lip fillers and she went home and her fiance was like, yo, Get that shit out your lips, or we're not getting married. Ooh. And so she spent her money to get it done, and she had to spend her money to take that shit out, because he went with that shit. I don't think you do it for a man, though. Like, yeah, but if it ain't really it ain't for, for a man, man but man. if your man absolutely fucking hates, hates your it. lips. <laughs> man, you gonna love shit. this shit. I'm about to get that long play. I don't really think you need it. I don't I, either. I, and I think I just I'm gonna be so and this irritated. Is but it might like social good media after. though, like you know, like all of the Instagram filters now, you got a little lip filter. Oh, okay, well, just use the filter. No, I want to look like. But, don't they but I know somebody like, that just recently got it done. Them, 
Don't they got something to make Yeah, them? they do, but I don't think that stuff works. I don't really think it really works. It I, definitely I, I make your lips burn. Be tingling. Mm-hmm. Been, lips but I do know um, one of my friends did recently get it done. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look bad. I don't think she overdid it. Yeah, you know I would definitely saying? want natural. Yeah. So she, it yeah. doesn't look bad. But I don't know. I just don't like it. Well, I know but a good I, doctor. We can talk about but that it's, later. I can yeah. actually text him for you. Go ahead, it's your lips, boo. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want nothing crazy. A lot. Just a and little just, bit. I got white people lips, y'all. And then a oh, lot of dang. people that do fillers. Sorry. Can you <laughs> She's not racist. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people that do fillers aren't MDs. So I'm going to put you into an MD. Like not no love. You know. Yeah. A little cosmetic bitch that went to school for eight months. I got you. As the man in this room, mm-hmm. I, I totally feel like you do not need lip fillers at, at all. all. You thank don't. You don't have you. the other people's lips at all. Oh, <laughs> <thank you. laughs> not the other people. All. Thank you. I thank you. When recommend. Girl, you're amazing. Mm-hmm. That's the way you are. <laughs> Bruno Mars. Yeah. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Can um, you see, really. Go ahead, because I'm ready to get into it, baby. Well, okay, Ooh, so let's clear the motherfucking air. air. We're about to clear the air. Okay. Woo child. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I'm going to just brief people, because I'm not sure. Sh- nah, these bitches know. They be in her business. So she had some legal trouble um, not too long ago, and she was incarcerated. It was a Wait, lot of guys, I feel like incarcerated was like a long time. <laughs> She was apprehended. Was by the, she, was apprehended she was apprehended by and the booked. Um, she was booked. It was like it was like Literally. drug related stuff. It was like big thing, a big thing. Everybody was talking about it. They was like, you know, her. Uh, she, matter of fact. Anyway, yeah. The question is, what were the actual charges that you were facing? Um, it was some um, gun charges and drug charges. Okay, I have a question. Yes, baby mama, Ronnie. Um. So, as far as the case now, like, did you take the charges or, like, what's the, what's going on with it now? Everything was not processed. Okay. Okay. So, you can't really talk about it. Okay. Uh-uh. Okay. So, I have a question. So, while you were going through this process, while you were arrested, um, did your kids know what was going on? Or, like, what, you know, did you guys tell them something else? Or, like, what was um, that? As far as, like, when I was arrested Like, did your or... kids know where you were at? Did they oh, know no. you were in jail? Uh-uh. Because throughout, like, the course of me being there, like, I was talking to them. Okay. Like, to try to keep things as normal as possible because... So you was out of town? No, it's crazy because it happened on a weekend. I told them I was going out of... Like, I was going to be out that weekend. Mm -hmm. No. So they already had plans. So them not... Yeah. Yep. Them not seeing me wasn't, like... it just Out of the ordinary. Yeah, they just wasn't able to call me how they could call me. How long were you in there? Girl, five years. Girl, how long were you in there? Five days was really like five years. So what was that like though? Like the whole process. So they pull you over. How much were did you, you wait? Were you driving? Did they? Because I heard y'all see my mug shot. I like, heard that, that you they kicked me in your house off. and dragged you out. That's what I heard. That was just, that's a rumor. I heard they cleared the house. Like you was in the house. I heard oh. he was somewhere else. You were in the house, and the people came to your house and police. Boo. Yeah. They watch too much TV, but no, that's not how it happened. <laughs> like, no. You won't even home. Uh-uh. Mm. Okay. Well, guys, there's the answer to Pretty that. did not get kicked in. Um, Door was still intact. So they did was. you ever tell the kids? Um, no, I still haven't talked to them. Like, oh, okay. I feel like now Bria's getting to the age where it's certain things I want to make sure that she doesn't do. Mm. But I still feel like it's too early. Like she's only I eleven. Yeah, I don't no, want to. You know, as long as one day you have that conversation with her, I don't. Because it may, they it, may it, hear it. You very, don't even have it. Yeah. It may come up, and you know. Yeah, that's true though. It may come up. And I may think you even. should be transparent with her, of course, before somebody else tells her. Yeah, because it's so she don't hear it, it don't from somebody else. The same else. type of nigga. Because you know she get real offensive when it comes to her mama. My girl don't play. Yeah, but yeah, I just feel like you know right now. And I'm sure she probably knows something was wrong. Yeah. But I've never had the courage to have a conversation with her. Okay. That comes with time, though. Yeah. I mean, it's still really fresh. How long ago was that? Um, March 13th will be two years. Okay, yeah. Three years. years. I'm sorry, 2020. Yeah, three years. Still yeah, kind of three fresh. years old. Woo, girl. Time flies when you time flies. Okay. Um, it won't always play, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... What was a rumor that you heard about yourself that like blew your mind or rumors? Um, The craziest thing was like somebody saying, oh, she's going to have to sell her designer items or how she going to get designer now. 
And I'm just like, bro, like, I'm really, like, fighting for my life, like, fighting for my kids. Yeah, you like, I'm not worried about no designer, but, you know, I still keep that shit on. Okay. Okay. Regardless. So, um, in that situation, because uh, I kind of got into a debate about this, mm-hmm. um, because... People were, of course, people from the outside are always going to speculate. Mm-hmm. And it was speculation that you was left for dead and, you know, you was hung out to dry. And I was like, oh, hell no, nah, because he wouldn't even do that. Y'all bitches don't know what the fuck going on, because if you know anything about a street nigga, you know he got to get his affairs at all. <laughs> I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going all off. Like, but, you know, do you feel like you were left to hang? Do you feel like? Um. Like, what I'm going to say he is... considered you, your feelings, or whatever. My mom is the realest really nigga on my team. Okay, facts. Ooh. It's always your mom. Always. Shout out to mom, too. It's always your mom. Period. Love you, mom. It's always your mom. But, yeah. Um, Another thing that I heard... So God, Damn, y'all heard so much no, shit about me. I, I always, like, I'm telling you, and, you know, people know that we, we yeah. cool, so they, like, try to call me and fish for stuff. I'm like, what you doing? I'm like, man, girl, sitting there, I'm chilling. Like, bitch, um... Girl, tell me why I heard. And they looking for me to be like, yes or no. And mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I ain't talking to her. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's my response every time. Oh, I don't know. I ain't even talked to her in a while. But that shit crazy. And that's it. Because, bitch, who you thought you was about to talk to about? You know what I'm saying? People so, are weird. Um, there's like weird. A, so, there, of course, there's a rap. This rapper, he's from here. But, mm-hmm. you know, he popping. He's not just a local rapper. We can say that. Mm-hmm. And they're saying, like, there was this song and there was this line in this song. Because apparently, I guess he was supposed to have been your sad nigga mm-hmm. or something. And so he was like, made a song about like when your dude had got locked up. He heard about y'all and he was up. Like, that's kind of the line in the song. Is that line about you? Are those I had alleged heard rumors? the song. Um, but they said, like, somebody's might have been in the feds and he was state, so it won't bother me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was somebody else, y'all. He might have had it mixed up, though. I know. He, he ain't <laughs> following you, nigga. He following you, so. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. It'd be crazy. Right, so um, have you ever been a sad bitch? Because you know, I know what. It's another speculation. <laughs> you know, minute, they so say this is for real. All I, all, it's just something they say that these are the rumors. We're clearing the air tonight. They say that your ex had bitches in. Here and here and, and there, bitches, and bitches everywhere. It was a bunch oh of bitches. God, definitely had the you know what I'm saying? Way. They say he had no bitches, so yeah, he definitely had the bitches. How did way. you deal with that though? Like, <laughs> I was not a side bitch. Not to no, him, not to him I'm just saying. Oh, you I'm saying, have you with, ever been with one? Have you one, ever been with yourself? No, I ain't never been a side bitch. Okay. You always in relationships, y'all. She ain't lying. Have you ever had a I'm sad nigga? Oh, hmm. lover. Have what you, was the other question y'all asked? Have you ever had a sad nigga? Oh, I'm a lover. Was the yeah, I'm a lover. Okay. Have you ever had a sad nigga? You ain't answered that yet. All girls have. I've never you had a sad nigga because okay, I don't so cheat. Wait. You know I ain't never had... That's that what I'm saying. One? I feel like I haven't lived life. Not episode one, Somebody be my boyfriend well, so I can get sad nigga. Like, like, you know, right. we don't cheat. You know, we just cheat it. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What was turned that? It turned into the shade room. It's <laughs> Damn, See, no, because like people, girl, people talk about you, and you know they people can act like people don't talk about you. But people talk about me, but why? Like I be in the house, like cooking really dinner and fucking making lunches. And man, but it's ain't. just because you're popular, and they don't. People don't have no business. So they sit around and they talk about stuff and don't know what they're talking about. So it's a lot of speculation, trying to guess and figure out. Yeah, the air. Like, you a hot commodity, too. Yeah. yeah, but, I mean, you'll never know me off of social media. Never. And anything that you hear about me, nine times out of ten, if it's it didn't true. come from four people, it's a lie. Okay. Like, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Okay. People be weird though, That's like weird. I don't weird. know. I got a question. Yeah, we want your question. Do your thing. If you was in jail for a long period of time, would you think about going the other way? <laughs> <laughs> like, like would you so have crazy? to? Get you, was you gonna get you a it's girlfriend? It's so crazy, right? I was in there like braiding hair and everything, y'all. Five days on braiding hair. That bitch was in there five days braiding hair. And it was like the middle of COVID, so we were quarantining. 
So we was oh, literally yeah, like, yeah, because for the yeah. fourteen days when you got locked up, you had this quarantine. Yeah. So you got some oranges, the new black type shit. No, I ain't making that for y'all. You ain't had no jelly. But it's crazy because like I was locked up with like this older black lady. Mm. And she was like, girl, when you make it out there, they're going to give you everything. I'm like, I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> what? She definitely pretty much told me, like. It's always that one person. She like, you so in the cell Or in the jail that's going to give you the game. I ain't oh. making it to the jail, but when I was in the holding cell, I met this one girl, lady. Her name was Papu. She was cool as a bitch. She ain't had no teeth, but that's my dog forever. Like, for that's me. the lady that like, I said. Know her. Like, she's she in Richmond. Like, like, yeah. Like, oh. She looked out for me. Like she had gave me the game before I got to the Richmond jail. I'm so glad I ain't get to the motherfucking jail. Woo! Child. Literally. She would not go the other way. So you ain't answered that question. Yeah, because how if you would have got like, so if you would have got sentences, they would have been like mm. eight years or some shit. You would have bumped. You would have had the sizzle, sis. Woo! Coochies would have been bumping. <laughs> Fuck that. You tripping. I mean. Because I made that. <laughs> I would have had to do what I had to I do. Mean, I can't break my rolls. Nah. You can't you break the rolls. to the rolls. That's crazy, yeah. You cannot bring your She would have been crazy. Like, excuse me, officer. Please my mama me. dropped something off to me. <laughs> my mama was really trying to drop stuff off to me. Like, can I bring you something to close? I'm like, mom, please stop. Well, my stepbrother was in the penitentiary, though. My mama and her husband. Some used places to, you can't bring They used bring to take stuff. him, like, fresh produce. Like, they used to, he was in the penitentiary in New, in New York, though. And that's me. He's, he is, like, a rich person, so. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had, like, sense. a celebrity type of status. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say who it is. Yeah, that's but. extra privilege. I'm not going to say who it is. I'll tell y'all off camera who my stepbrother is, but. They definitely used oh, to yeah. drive to New York. That makes sense. To Rome, New York. He was in the penitentiary. He did a year. Um, I said what he did. He shot himself by accident. Okay, that's it. That's I what I'm saying. for that. Because it was in New York. You can't have guns. Oh, but right. my mom yeah. and her husband used to take... My mom and her husband used to take him fresh produce and you shit. You say you know who it is. Uh, yeah. I mean, I said what he did. If you know, you know. If you don't, that's oh, all shit. I'm saying. Don't know. Yeah. Of course you would. I mean, I know I don't think is, you... So. That's not your lane, but... Mm -mm. Stay in my lane yeah, like y'all so need to. I actually want to ask you some... <laughs> like, who questions. need to? People. Oh, the people. <laughs> I want to actually <laughs> ask you some of the questions that we were asked last episode. I want to spice uh -huh. shit up a little bit. We a little Jenny Jones-ish. little Ricky eh. Lake-ish. <laughs> Ricky Lake. Here. So let's spice this shit up. <clears throat> I don't even remember the questions. Well, go ahead. You don't remember the questions? Like, yeah, all uh, like your category of porn. What would oh, your yeah. category of porn be? Um, do you watch porn? Do you watch porn? Yeah. Are you, are you, do you are sexual, being sexual, do you feel like you're moderate? Uh, you know, free? Moderate. Uh, that girl learning, though. Oh, she is. Girl, call me. Can we cut that? I'm going to put you on, so. <laughs> I'm going to put you on. I, I mean, it's, my friends, it's, like, give, it's like a given because you were I gotta in a relationship you. for so long with, with one, one person. person. Yeah. So, whatever so it's not like you have been. You, into. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. honestly, that was me. Like I said, my 20s, basically my whole 20s, y'all know I was in a relationship. Yeah. I hit 30, bitch. Me too. Shit. And it was flirty, bitch. <laughs> oh, I was, but I had a, a, a lady. She's in her 60s. She's my friend. She told mm -hmm. me when I was about to turn 30, I was so like sad about it. I didn't want to be 30. And she was like, hey, let me tell you something. When you turn 30, you're going to have some fun. And I'm like, what you talking yes. about? She was like, trust me. I really feel like I hit my sexual peak. Like, half the shit that I've done or that I do now, it didn't happen until. That's me. Like, didn't I happen like until 30. literally. Now, 30, bitch, 31 I'm, for me. I'm lit. Yeah. Yeah. Feel lit. I be having a ball. Third, and I also was told when I hit, when you hit your 30s, like, you're more, like, sexually active. Like, you want to have like, sex more it's like i text yeah. you how many times yeah like it's it's literally true, i've I heard mean, that but for me that and for me true. it's true for me that has been true. like Definitely. i've never wanted it as much as I've i wanted now sex drive, right though, now. like ever but no who be not to eat talking to y'all oh i'm want. just saying like at this time in my life like i'm about to be 33 next week and my sex drive is like top tier yeah so, do you watch porn? We was like all over the place. Yeah, that's how we do. <laughs> God damn. ADHD. Um, sometimes, not like all the time, but I will watch it. But which, so, do you watch alone or do you watch with a partner? I don't watch porn with a partner You've before. You never watch porn? Mm -mm. What? Try you gotta it. have you a dick sucking contest with the bitch on the TV. KP, mom, I don't do that. <laughs> She's lying, mom. <laughs> Your mama know you. 
Motherfucker. That's why she want them lips blown up. <laughs> 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 KP, um, but I've never watched porn with a partner, and like, damn, Nana, I don't need to watch. Okay, I like like the girl on girl porn, and like yeah, everybody like I girl really need to like. I don't know what it is, oh, like, because a finger feels really really good. But you never actually. If you go anal, you gotta start small. See, I told you I fell in love with a little bit, mm-hmm. and that's where I. You know what I'm saying? I felt like this is the perfect time to try it because it ain't much there. I might be good. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm, just you talking is like I'm clenching my butt cheeks. Well, don't, <laughs> don't clench, baby. Just relax. Don't clench. Relax. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, I mean, I, I'm i not, like I said, I don't take dick in the butt all the time, but I'm not opposed to it. Um, Special occasion. But holidays. you can't crop out with no motherfucking Mandingo warrior. Thank you finna plug me. Sir, just wrap my motherfucking beads or the plug or something because you tripping little thumb. You know, but yeah. Don't knock it till you try it. I mean, I'm not knocking it. I just haven't done it. It's like the multiple stimulate okay. like that mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a question. <laughs> Don't it ain't even way. on no section. Thank you. You know what I mean? It's, it's uh, a topic, guys. Yeah, yeah. I want to know, because this is the topic that's going on right now. Like, what makes a man corny? Everything can make you corny with me. I don't. But what's like like the the things that just stand out? Like, cause you know how Michael B. Jordan getting the corny tag right now. And I don't think he's but corny. But I I'm not gonna say I don't think he's corny he's because corny. in that situation. In what situation? What so happened? The, the girl L'Oreal from Lip Service said that she went to high school with him, mm-hmm. and she was just like in high school. People felt like he was corny. She, I don't. She didn't even necessarily. Do you never that. said that Dominique the Diva said he was corny. Yeah, she, she just never, said they she, joked on him they, about she his said name. They joked on him in school, it, or whatever. But she, not, L'Oreal, to me, and when I listened, I didn't hear anything bad that she said about that man. And yeah, I guess she, she he did. said something to her about it on the red carpet, and niggas just feel like you oh yeah, yeah, for that. yeah, for addressing her. Yeah, but, but what are you addressing? Because she never yeah. said nothing bad about you. She won't even the bitch. She, she, she was around the girl that was speaking about her, so care. it's easy for me to confuse. Lori Harvey. She broke your heart. Address her. So but you why? Feel like that you ain't addressing no nigga that broke your heart. Why would he address Lori Harvey? And I'm not addressing no bitch that kind of took up for me when a bitch called me horny. Either. Well, I didn't hear that, so I don't know that. I think he was just confused on who said it. But I mean, me personally, if I'm a nigga like that and I heard somebody's talking shit and now you're in front of me and you the interviewer, it's a perfect doing, chance for me to ask. Yeah, but now you look crazy because you got the wrong person though. That's right. Now you look crazy, so make sure you know what the fuck you talking about before you start talking. Yeah, but you get hit with it straight because you uh, guilty by association. But yeah. and I'm I, a rich nigga, so I wouldn't really care who's calling corny. I w- and, and I don't necessarily <laughs> want to say like he's just a square, you know. Yeah. What I'm he's not he he doesn't have any edge. But what what but, makes him a square? All right, so that goes. He doesn't to, have any edge. That goes, what do you so, mean by so that? That goes to my second it's question. It's nothing like he don't have no edge. Like he just. Mm-hmm. This for all of y'all the answer. That's good. That goes. You lay it right into the second question. So do cool. y'all prefer street niggas? Or working niggas, oh, nine to five professional niggas. Let me answer niggas. that first. You know we prefer. <laughs> we know so, we prefer. We know, let me we let me answer part? that first. Cause you just say he ain't had no edge, and but why he ain't got no edge? Cause, Cause he, he ain't not, no street nigga. He nah, because no you don't gotta be. No, no because I don't feel like if some shit go down and I'm you, with him, I'm protected. I don't feel protected. He played Creek. Damn, you put the word on him though. That nigga played Creek. That doesn't mean that he's going to box though. Is he going to box? Is he though? But is we, he, or does but, he want to talk but, it out? But do we know? Because we've never been in that situation know, with him. Let's talk from about what I know. Man no, we're not talking about shit. Fuck that. Nigga, what's up? What is he talking about? We ain't talking about shit. We like the best. But listen, you ain't go, he ain't going to have to do shit, sis, because you going to jump in front of him. So he ain't going to have to do nothing. Fuck is this nigga talking to? What you mean? <laughs> yeah, we're going to bank this nigga. Like, what? This nigga, you Well, let me answer that. Back in the day, it was started with a working man. I like, and I was in love, way. deeply in love. I was young, stuff like that. And then I ran into a street nigga. Showed me something man, you never seen before. <laughs> Made me just totally disregard my working man. And I was in love, and I love him. <laughs> but I, I love him. him. And from there, it was just like street nigga, street nigga, street nigga, street nigga, street nigga. And my uncle started saying, like, you just like your sisters. Like, if he ain't so little dope, been to jail, you don't want them. We want reform street niggas. But there we go. At this big grown age, as y'all say, 
I, I do not want a street nigga. Because I've been through the motions so many times. It's like you either going to jail or you going to die. Yeah, and I ain't with none and of that. And I ain't shit. really into none of that. Like, I'm too old now. I don't got time for that. I like, done rolled and died, rolled but, and died. <laughs> Yeah, like, I done rolled and died. I, I done died too many times for you. Like, this is no. it. <laughs> I'm I'm not a, go get if you a job a, and make some money. If I was a cat, I got one life left. Like, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I have, man. Uh, I didn't roll. I mean, that's cool. I didn't roll. I mean, She's th- roll. I'm going to go ahead and shut up. Please. Thank you. I didn't <laughs> roll. Uh, hit some corners. Hit some work. curves. Like, yeah. Yeah, so at this point, like, I need stability because I'm stable. Definitely. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I need, I'm not expecting a man to come with way more than what I have. I understand, like. I'm not expecting a man to just come and do everything either. Like, I take care of myself, but I need you to, you know, to at least have, you know what I'm saying? And I need you to have a job. Well, I'm looking for a provider, you can a say protector. A on the side. I'm looking for a provider, a protector. <laughs> she I have two kids, and I just need you to be, like, a man-man. Don't come to me with no little boy shit. Yes, you sir. confuse, like, if you don't know what you want, you might as well keep fucking going because like i ain't even here to play with nobody ball headed their son no more hang on the ball head so we'll make a nigga a street nigga i just told you what my uncle said <laughs> I just told you oh, what. they ain't in the jail they ain't sold a little bit of dope, dope. Mm. killed somebody you might have killed them my uncle Tourette, when i'm looking at my murder <laughs> That's what i'm saying like it's like it's like, a nigga yeah. doing a murder bi- you know what i'm saying like you don't know where the street but is. But in the street. No, I don't because people are, I've heard people call me, I'm not a street nigga, but then my friends are calling me a street nigga. But you might be a street nigga that skateboard. I mean, I skateboard. Yeah, I know. I I could you said, I, I could you a street nigga? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> you yeah. are a street nigga. People close to me tell me I'm not a street nigga. So no, I, but I, I you, you don't give me so. street give nigga me. at all. But you might just have it well. Because there's some shit go down. You might so be the, the one. The street, so it depends on who you ask in definition, because I feel no. like everybody. See, so what, get, what's the definition of, you know what I mean? Like, what's the type? What's the look for real? What's it's the, not it's even not a look, look, though. It's, it's a, a personality. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, like, it's a, like, like, yeah, like, 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 you in the streets, like, you know standing on the block. I you didn't. I don't want them to stand on the block. But I don't want them to stand on the block. Because if you stand on the block, you work for somebody. But no, hold on, because y'all bitches, hold on. Don't get me sad, y'all. Okay, y'all bitches. Y'all, I'm talking. Y'all didn't fuck with a nigga that stood on the motherfucking block. Just cause you 33 now, bitch, yeah. and you ain't fucking he with a man that stand on the block. You that okay? The nigga that's, now that's a street get some nigga. Why the niggas on the block? I don't. Want that's a street, street nigga. That's what we're trying to. Uh, I don't want answer. a drug dealer because I have a son, and I want. I would like to date a man that yeah, my child should look up to. I was just trying to get the aesthetic. I don't Cause know. Cause it could be a working, a working dude can have like a hustle Because I'm going to be honest, my baby daddy. Like ghosts on get, power. My baby daddy gets up he, he and goes to work <laughs> every single day. he had a job. But when it comes to like. And own some shit. But he was a street nigga. He a street nigga. Because when it comes down to it. it. But it's a hood nigga. Yeah. Same thing as a street nigga. I feel like a street nigga like be. Because when I met this nigga, we were 14, right? Mm-hmm. And he had just finished robbing somebody. Like, I stood on my porch and was looking, and I was like, talking to my sister, I was like, bitch, bitch, that nigga robbing that nigga. Bitch, look. And then he finished, he like, and then he like walked up, he was like, what's up, y'all? And I was like, what's up? <laughs> you <laughs> first sight? Bitch, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm over here with that bullshit. But he ended up being a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? So what's a square then? What does, what's the definition so for me, of a, a square? Or a square like? or a corny nigga, like, a corny nigga could be a street nigga to me. You feel what I'm saying? Street you could be a street nigga. Corny. You could be a nigga with money, bitches, and cars, clothes, and you whack as a bitch. You corny as fuck. Because you piss but poor what morally. Pe- like, you what? You know what I'm Piss poor morally. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't hear yeah. what you said for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for me, so, yeah. what I makes got, you? Uh, Go ahead. I, ain't, I don't want to interrupt. But this, this is this podcast. Is like, hold on, what's up? <laughs> we got to change this shit to let me interrupt podcast. <laughs> Cause that's what we gonna do. Nah, if you come nah. on this bitch, we gonna talk over you. Because she said when you dated a, a regular, I guess a square nigga, a corner nigga, whatever the case. Who said that? No, 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 my working. You said you my working man. Working. I ain't working saying nigga. Right, so this one I wanna say. Cause I done heard he this no before. Square. You know what I mean? Like working niggas versus street niggas. Like the sex be different. 
You know I, what I mean? I don't know. I've never had a working man. I've never had enough, <laughs> fucked enough working yeah. man. Because no. <laughs> <That'd be so laughs> if the nigga, oh, because if the I nigga works, he man. still like, like I said, like my child's father, he get up and go to work every day, but he's still a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it come down to it, he know the streets. He know he the, streets. the streets. He done been in the streets. He done been in the streets. He's just he's grown into a man, man, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Well, so, no, 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 that's not. That's not what I'm talking. I'm talking about a nigga that ain't never touched no streets. And it ain't like okay. You said the that's sex what is we different. need, but What's not what we want. I'm just more because I don't hear. I ain't know. I'm just yeah. That's some shit. Trivial shit. You ain't gotta answer the shit. But the girl, sad I part have. about that is the street nigga get more pussy yeah, he get more than pussy. that working man. Yeah. But most of the time, and just that fact alone, he's probably more experienced. You and know what I'm saying? I done had like arguments with a street nigga like about time being spent and he just told me, hey, you need a nigga with a nine to five. Yeah, no, you, you know don't. what the fuck I'm out here doing. Because the nigga I had I with a nine to five that. didn't have time. Because he was he working. Was like, he worked his ass off. He was working, working yeah. and cheating. Cheating too. Them, them, them mm. niggas work. Oh work. no, baby. One thing a nigga gonna do is make time for what they want to make. Make time. Yeah, they will. Sure. And that don't matter whether you in the streets or you in the motherfucking boardroom. But I don't have time, y'all. I'm just, when I tell y'all, I, don't have, I really don't have time. Like, I'm shooting a podcast. I got a son. You don't want school. time. I don't have time. She full of shit. Don't. We just said niggas don't make time. time. The bitch will make time, too, if she wants to. I, I don't it's have a bitch babysitter. bitch don't want to make time. I don't have a babysitter. You got Monica. Monica ain't babysitting. Yeah, they gonna watch themselves at her house. <laughs> well, we are not talking about me on this. I'm just saying she said she doesn't have a babysitter. I'm like, you have Veronica. So, you just not making time because you don't want to. Okay. Now that you have dated a street nigga and you've like reaped the benefits, you've had the good and the bad side, would you do it again? Are you like the guy that you're little yeah, yeah, what, what, whoever you date and whoever you're dealing with, is he in the streets or does he like have a job or like, you know, what's up with him? He owns businesses, but when you be like, I reap the benefits. Well, from the outside looking in, it looks like, you know, you had this nigga, he was hustling, he was getting this money, he was draping you in this, doing this for you, taking you here, doing... That's what... That's, that's how what it, it is. That's what, that's how it most appears. people And that's what people think. think when yeah. they see but if that's not, not what it is. Term of somebody yeah, who knows that you. bothers me. And I hate, like, not even for myself, I feel like any female that has something, because y'all look at designer as if it's something, material things, as if it's something, like, that y'all attribute to a nigga. Like, and that's I, true. I get up to work. I get up and go to work every day, run a business, like, got a mama mm-hmm. and a daddy, like, Stop accrediting everything females get to a to man. Like, yeah. I, mean, I, agree. I agree. Females really just boss like in today's day to like, And I know some Fem- of boss, but... Females I are like more boss than men. Like, they more bossed up than niggas these days, and that's the God on the street. They are like, I hate that. Like, let's get away from that stipulation. We've also, like, we've also gotten to a society where females are taking care of men. Yeah. yeah. Men are comfortable with that. Yep. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So We're in a fucked up society. Women are taking care of men. Bitches is tricky with niggas. Like... I literally oh. just said I want me a provider, a protector. I, I'm I don't want to provide for you, sir. I want all of that. I have two kids. But if you're doing, if that I wanted for a me, third one, I would have it. I don't mind reciprocating nothing because she but does, reciprocating yeah, and I'm just taking saying, care of a does, man, but is shit totally does different. Because I was in a situation where I was with this man and he was literally taking care of everything, doing everything, and then he had a health issue and a surgery. He couldn't work. And next thing I know, I was getting my ass up, and but I that's was paying all the bills. Though. Yeah. That's different, though. Myself, that's different. That's like, different. You are with, you are in yeah, a relationship with a man that was doing all of these things for you, and something that neither one of y'all could have prevented happened. So you had to step up. That's one thing. But there are females out here nowadays that. If a nigga got some shit going for himself, she don't even want to fuck with him because she want to feel like he need me. Like that feeling for her is like that. Niggas is like that. But I'm more accustomed to a man being like that than a female. Like it's like, I feel like us as females, a lot of other females make us look so bad. Like they be going out bad about these niggas. I, I take care of my niggas, cause my niggas take care of me. 
There you go. Period. Nothing wrong I'm with that. That's different. They be like, oh, I'm not doing this. And sometimes if it has to be 50-50, that's fine. Like, let's get this yeah, shit you're done. Yeah, you don't like me for I got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying some women are closed-minded. But you're and only going to do that for somebody that's doing that for you me. know that would do it But I'm just saying a lot of you. bitches in this mind frame, well, I want a nigga to do this. And I want it. Like, and they don't want to do nothing. But what, what are you doing? Though. Why should this nigga come and pay all your bills? Like, what you doing sucking dick? Because, bitch, everybody can suck dick. Yeah. What you popping pussy? I can pop pussy. Like, what is it that you're providing for him? Because he can get that anyway. Yeah. And it's just, I do find that women have these high ass standards and they be fucking trash. Yeah. I got high standards. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Like but you're not trash. Opinion. I'm not trash, but I feel like I have Do you agree standards. with my opinion? Uh, women do be lost. having these high Women of delusional as shit. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Niggas ain't shit. There we go. Women ain't shit neither, though. Yeah. People aren't shit. Yeah. Oh, yes. I feel like it's about what you attract, too. Like, you know, I never attracted anything less than like a professional career of women. Dang, so, I bullshit. You know I mean, that's like, I feel like what you, you put out is what you're going to get back. Yeah, so if you're sure, putting you. out broke pussy energy, you might get a broke nigga attracted, you know what I mean, coming and to And it's that. your mindset, too. Yeah, exactly. It's you know your I mean? mindset. Like, that shit is true. Like, manifestation is no, that shit real. Is that like, is, oh my God, if well, you like, are yeah. really out here in your mind, like, you are like, for instance, you tell me, like, I want my man to do this, be this, and all of these things, but your mind frame is not really that. You're saying it, but that's not really what you are, like, you're not thinking. ready for it. That may be what you want, but is that what you're ready <clears throat> yeah, for? Yeah, like, you have to really sit down and evaluate yourself first. Okay, so then let me ask you this. And then after that, I don't have nothing else to ask, but like, you know how they say it. Are there are people that are raised off love, and then there are people that are raised off survival. Mm -hmm. In a relationship, sometimes, how do you feel like that can be like a conflict or because like I've literally That's dated people conflict. that I felt like were jealous of me because of what I have or like what type of family I come from. Because I mean, like honestly, my I, I might be a little on the broke side, but like I didn't come for that. Mm -hmm. So anything, any struggles that I have, I've chosen to. I chose to struggle to try to make it through on my own, but I could really pick up the phone and get whatever. Like, my car right yeah. now, I'm driving another car tomorrow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't got this, but I choose to, like, try to figure out. I'm choosing to be grown, a grown-up because I don't have to adult. Yeah. That is, I don't even pay a phone bill. My, my mom still pays my phone bill. So is there a conflict sometimes in relationships when you're dealing with a nigga that's, you know, like I was raised off love, but yeah. I tend to like street niggas. And they tend to be raised off survival. And I always found, like, at some point of the relationship, we do clash because in certain situations, like, we just are never going to understand each other because we won't raise, we the, won't same. raise yeah. the same. Like, so, I, like, it's just not the same. Like, some shit I'm, I probably would just never understand because that, ain't, that wasn't my reality. You can't relate to it. That just wasn't my reality. Well, can I answer first? Mm -hmm. Am I the guest or no? <laughs> oh, you yeah, no, go, go ahead. I'm joking. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Excuse me, boo. So... <laughs> I can honestly say I was raised off of love. Um, my father died when I was one. So I didn't really have a male figure in my life growing up. But my mom was like everything. And then I have a close-knit family. So like my aunts, uncles, sisters, like everybody took care of me still. Um, but for some strange reason, when I started like dating and stuff, I always would attract men that needed some type of healing. Yeah, me too. Like a lot of men, and I don't know. know why that is always the case, but it is. It's but always the case. Stick around and try to heal them. No, me too. And <clears throat> the I funny did. thing about me being loved and all of that, I'm not affectionate. That's crazy. Like at that all. Person. Like it's funny. it's not funny because I've as I've gotten older, I'm trying to work on it. <clears throat> but but how are you affectionate you with your kids? Love and then you're not affectionate. Where's the love? You are not? Where's the love? I can be affectionate with my kids. I didn't and ask you, can you? I said, are you? Sometimes like on a day to day. Oh, not yeah, day, -to -day. No. no, I mean I tell my kids. 99.9% of the time. The I love them. No. Get the fuck off. <laughs> but like, my daughter, she's very touchy-feely. She's very she touchy-feely. And it's annoying sometimes. Can't even lie. But I have to like bring myself back to it like this is 
who she is. Like her dad is like that. Her dad is affectionate. So it's she got it honest. And dealing with a man that had to like live off of survival, it can be very it's rough. hard. It's rough. It, Cause the shit that y'all argue argue about, it's like, what the fuck? Like, um, I was raised off of love. I raised my kids off of love. I have dealt with guys that were that were raised off of survival. It's draining though, like it is. trying to pour love into a person that is just they don't like, even know how to be. Too, yeah, they don't like, even know how to. They don't know how to accept it. Sense. Like you really can't fault them because it's foreign to them. Yep. But it's just like yo, like welcome it. Yeah. It's but I guess it's harder to welcome what you don't know versus you know what you know. I think also y'all dealing with black boys. Oh, men. Boys, boys. You said it correct. But yeah, um, you said it uh, correct because yeah, we, all of us are like we have shared trauma. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just being black in general, and that then is then true though. It to like a black street nigga, like come from the hood. I'm from Portsmouth, so <laughs> my tw- first twelve years of life, trauma. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Real shit. So that's the thing that when you dealing with a certain race, it's just embedded in us. And, and y'all and, the women that got to deal with it. You know? Yeah. You're absolutely and that's right. Why because I've honestly black. never had. Because no type like of racist no, encounter. They understand black people understand. I black people like. I could date a white man, but if some shit happened, he and never gonna understand it. Type of way, and I come home and I'm like, "Hey, this motherfucker had me fucked up." He was like, "He's not gonna understand it," and that shit is gonna piss me off too. even more. You know what I'm saying? And that'll be and a reason for choose. you and him to have an argument because yeah. he doesn't understand. And I don't want to explain to everybody why this is bothering me, why this makes me feel. I just need somebody to understand, and I feel like. A black men will understand, but I'm tired of y'all niggas for real. I'm tired of fixing y'all niggas. Like the fuck, my first aid kid, sewing kid, all that shit. I threw that shit out. I'm not fixing nobody else. Come to me, motherfucking fix, or stay your ass where you at. Man, niggas ain't gonna never be fixed. They not. And I ain't gonna never have a nigga. Ain't no female. Don't say that. Don't see that. On me. Ain't never gonna be really Listen, fixed. I'm not no, even seriously though. Like I'm seriously, not even thinking about merch. Some, some. But you don't uh, have to be thinking about it. Like, but don't, bit, don't count yourself out no, of that I'm though. Like body. when you, you gotta be. Mindful of like the things that you say, like I'm the not things that you pray about, like you can't just be like, I don't want. I don't like, pray about no niggas. I'm just saying, like you might not, man. but you might be praying for like the life that you want in yeah. the future. Like be specific, like don't 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 count yourself out. Like you don't want love at all. Not right now. I mean, I feel like if it comes, it comes. Am I looking for love? Hell no. Yeah, you don't, I don't feel like I should it. look like for it. it. It should just I feel come. Like I let naturally. life happen and I go with the flow. And if I feel it, I feel it. And if I don't, I don't like. And that's just it. So if love comes to me tomorrow, then bitch, tomorrow I'm in love. But if it don't, I'm cool too. Yeah, I'm not okay with that, personally. Why? I want I'm love. Living. Like, Life the thing won't. about me, though, like, I'm, I was raised by, like, single black women. Yeah. Like, and I'm old, like... My mother was single, and she didn't get married until I was grown, but we had a time. Like, I Yeah, and I'm not saying, right? like, we they're less of a woman because of that, but that's not what I want for myself. Like, I want... I want to, like, you know... I, I want to be, be like back in the day. Yeah, like take me back to that generation. Be like y'all, a that's single, like, independent, strong black woman I'm tired that of don't a need a man woman. for shit. And, um, I don't, I don't want. I want to. This is the year that I would love to be in my soft girl era. Okay, I want a man to make me feel good, special, all of that. Like, I that's that's what I would like. Like, yeah. I've been strong and independent and single and all of that for too long or dealing with the wrong type of man. I don't think like, I'm in a mental space. I don't want to do that. I'm okay. Yeah. I just yeah. don't. Right no, I want to be in my software era though. Like I want, I want to be soft and vulnerable with somebody like, and be okay with it. I felt like mm-hmm. I've been you know, there like, before. You, you, yeah, and that's what's holding you back and yeah, I understand that. And I've been there that. before. And so now and I'm I've been comfortable. There. I've been there before I'm too. Dread, but at, like at the state I'm in now, like that's what I want. I did go back some knee pads though, just in case. <laughs> Just in, case, just in case a nigga try to drag me, I'm good. <laughs> just in AKP. Case. Yeah, no, yeah, we ain't getting dragged no more though. So like, we can, um, we off of that. I feel like Instagram, because I, I got a pet peeve with this soft shit. Okay. I feel like Instagram got y'all feeling like we supposed to have soft life, and at the end of the day, life ain't never been soft. It ain't never gonna, never gonna, but, has been never gonna be. <laughs> okay, so this is the thing. I'm not saying that my life is gonna be soft. But Even it's been man. a very long time. She just wants somebody that, to come in her life and make shit easier. 
Like make me feel good. Like, like I told y'all before, trying to figure out how to get for a man out. with me. I, it's it's about how you make me feel, and I haven't had that feeling in so long. It's like, damn, I I deserve it. Like I don't need you to just do everything, and I'm just doing nothing. But if I make you feel good, you should make me feel good. That's and I don't have a problem making you feel. I'm going to make you feel good. And that's a fact. That's a fact. And I'm going to submit every time if you make me feel like it's worth it. But we're going to go ahead and conclude this conversation. We will have Lenise back. We will have. Bitch, we got time constraints. You got us fucked up. We will have her back. We're going to actually do a girls panel in the future. And she will definitely be on it. So there were some things that we didn't touch on and that we didn't hit on just because we holding back for that. So. Um, before we end, I just want to thank everybody for watching. We've gotten a great response from the first episode. Thank you for all the positive feedback, the constructive criticism. I welcome it all. Um, and I mean, shit, everybody don't like it. We didn't got some negative shit too. Um, also, we were going to address the name. We were going to address the name, especially because there was like some controversy about the name. Um, honestly, it kind of just came together. Like it was three names we had. It was Wu Child. It was Let's Talk About It. And it was Triple R, which stands for Real, Wrong, Rare, like what we are. Um, and we decided to just put Wu Child, let's talk about it together, and we will show y'all the real, raw, and rare. Um, like I said, it was like some little static about the name. Somebody felt some type of way, so I'm going to just say this, and then I'm not going to address it anymore. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. If this is our name, this is our show, and we hope y'all enjoy. You got anything to add? Oh, Period. So again, guys, um, we had Lenise on the show. Lenise, if you could tell them how to get in contact with you, if they're looking to book a party, they want to see what you got going on and what you're doing, if you could just go ahead and let them know how they can reach you. Yes, it's Enchanted Events on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, so, and we will also post her on our page, so you guys will be able to follow her or get to her page from there. Um, Again, thanks for all the support. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and we will see you guys back for episode three when we talk about Things of the world. Bye bye. Bye. Woo, child. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about it. it.